Casa Bonita is an apartment building built in 1928 in Rogers Park. It is bedecked with so much terracotta, it's really terrific. It's in a somewhat ordinary setting. Ridge Boulevard in Rogers Park. Anyone who's driven by knows you pass all these kinds of buildings and then this jewel. And we'll see that inside it's very unusual. It has all kinds of amenities you just don't find anywhere else. The terracotta on this building, as I've said, is just remarkable. It really is an unusual building, but it's not just the exterior. And I have two tour guides at this moment who are going to show us around. Tom Hilbrick on the left is the building engineer and has been here for 35 years. 25. 25 years, I'm sorry. And Jim Brockhagen is listing a two-bedroom condo we'll go in and look at. But tell me first, while we're standing out here in the cold, Tom, this building is amazing. Anybody who's driven by notices. What's special about it? Oh, just how it was built, all the terracotta and that. Just to replace the terracotta that's broken, and you're going back some time, the first brick was $2,500 and $250 per brick after that. Just you're to kidding. No, just and to replace years ago. it. Right, years ago. Just to spin, replace or redo the spindles coming down the stairwell, which was about five or six years ago, was $40,000 project. Just another shot of the terracotta. He's got the clay tile roof. <coughs> he earns up above. Then we're going to go into this. <coughs> right, we're coming in on the third floor. Third floor. We've got the twisted columns outside, on the outside of the building, and then the twisted columns on the fireplace. That's terrific. And this looks like the pediment above some of the entry doors. Yes. Got nice cove molding up above. Master. This is the master bedroom. This is the master, and this this is looking at one of those interior light bulbs, right? So even though we're on the interior of the building, we've got a lot of light here yes. as well. Yes, right. And it, it enters the bath. It enters into the bath. And all this is the dining room. We're going with the light well. And the nice cove mold. This is terrific mold. Beautiful. The second bedroom here. This is the second bedroom. This is a throwback of the, oh, yeah. the closet Cabinet and storage closet. areas. Sure. And then, I, this may not be the one to show it from, but I've got a view out to the St. Scholastica, the ground yes. fine St. Scholastica. Yeah, this overlooks St. Scholastica. Kitchen is brand new. Oh, that's going to come off as sexist. Oh, well, that is going to park. With these, I, these windows are terrific. This is a lot of light for a north, the north wall of a courtyard building. Here's where we can get the view out to the grounds of Scholastica. We have come upstairs from the pool in part because the humidity was making it hard to see from down there. So we're on sort of a loggia that's above it. Uh, but this, um, this is just such a great amenity. And one thing we can see up here that we also saw downstairs in the humidity is this 1928 tile. This is all over this is downstairs. This is terracotta, like the outside. And more of these old reversed swastikas or originals. But we also saw, didn't we see a, I saw clover. Yeah. Sure. Anything for good really luck. interesting tile. Any, anything that relates to good luck. It's all set. Or here. good time, good health. Yeah. Sure this cross yeah, I next to the swastika here. Yeah, I've got one. Yeah. Nice. This is Liz Durham, who lives in a two-bedroom here in the building. Uh, the unit is not yet on the market, but is going on the market this spring, right? That's correct. And Liz, tell me, how long have you lived here? Uh, we've lived here since 2002. What attracted you to the Casa Bonita? Um, it's vintage nature. I mean, it's beautiful. And so you moved in 
long before Cooper. We moved in long before Cooper was born. Cooper That's was right. Born here in the building. He was born here in the building in 2006. And there he goes. So, what attracted you to the building? Um, it, it's vintage appeal. I mean, we like the old building. We love the high ceilings and the units, all the amenities. Um, we just thought it was beautiful. Do you use the pool? Do you use the library? Those sorts of things? Um, we do. Um, we use the pool. The children love the pool. Well, our older son the most. Cooper's still learning. Oh, and uh, well, It's nice to learn to swim, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and then the library and the ping pong tables. And there's a playroom for the children downstairs. And uh, we use that too. So I would think on a weekend, especially a cold weekend, you'd be able to wander the building and, and use all the different amenities and fill your day, right? That's right. We don't even need to go outside if we don't want to on the weekend. Well, that's good because you have somebody with some energy. Yes. Looks like he needs to fill up his time. Cooper. Is that how you kick when you swim? Are you swimming, Cooper? You're swimming? Good job. He sure doesn't know there's a camera, does he? No. <laughs> <laughs> And what about the exterior of the building is so remarkable. When you walk in every day, you sort of stop and look up. We, um, we, you know, when you walk down those first steps outside, it's just amazing, especially in the spring when the fountain is turned on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, um, and the flowers are out. It, it's just, it's just, you know, it's a happy feeling. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah. You're in the pool. Look at you swimming. Oh, that's great. We should take you downstairs and see how you swim. Yeah. Would you swim for the camera? 